Hello everybody and welcome back to more Plants vs. Zombies. So starting things off, we're just going right into the Zen Garden and as you can see I got a whole lot of these marigolds. And unfortunately, um, I have very little cash, as you can see. So I really thought that I would have had enough cash for Stinky the Sn or I would have gotten Stinky the Snail's power-ups by this point. I have not! So, what I am going to do is, I'm just going to water these plants. I, got fr I think I got two or three marigolds that need to grow up to full size. And then I think I'm just going to sell a bunch of them, and I should make a huge amount of money from selling them all. I wanted to keep them around, so that way they could give me a bunch of money over time, but because I, A, have not gotten any power-ups for Stinky the Snail, and also because I'm really low on cash right now and I don't even have the phonograph, I don't think that that's actually the best idea. I think it's going to be better to, at least in the short term, sell these. Make a massive profit off of them. I'm not going to sell my Cherry Bomb and I'm not going to sell my Puff Shroom. But I will be selling all these generic Marigolds. I should get a huge amount of cash. Definitely enough to buy the, the 9 seed slot. Maybe enough to buy some custom plants. I think I also want to buy the Phonograph as well. That is a very good investment. At the very least, because even if the plants want the phonograph, some of the plants want bug spray. And that will also put them in the happy mood to give you a lot of the cash. But it, at the end of the day, it really just does depend on if I can get those power-ups for Stinky the Snail. My current theory is that you don't get them in minigame mode, but you get them in adventure mode. So that could be the case. Otherwise, I'm just going to lovingly tend my flowers. I got the very least watering them is free, and I get a little bit of money for watering all of them, so. Yes, Stinky, you can just sleep, that's fine. Alright. You're full size. You're full size. I think they're all full size at this point, which is great. Yeah, I'm gonna just start selling them, so. I get 3,000 apiece, so if I sell all my marigolds, he'll only pay that full price if they're actually full size. And look at that money coming in. He'll pay more for things like the cherry bombs, so he pays less for the marigolds. Still totally worth it, though. Look at all that cash. Now, I've poured a lot of cash into these marigolds, but I'm definitely making more back than what I paid. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at all that. 63,000. Now, I will start buying more of the Marigold Sprouts, because you do make some cash every time you grow them to full size. So I'll stock up on some fertilizer as well. But more importantly, I am buying that 9 seed slot thing. Now I can take 9 seeds per level, so that's great. Oh my gosh, there's 10 seed slot as well? Uh, I think that might be new to the PC version, because I think in the iPhone version you could only have 9 per level. Wow, that's interesting. How much is the phonograph? 15,000? I'm not gonna buy the phonograph until I actually have power-ups for Stinky the Snail, because they're not worth it otherwise. I will buy some of these new plants, though, and I'm gonna buy the ones that are actually good. So Gatling Pea and Twin Sunflower both suck. Gloom Shroom, however, is really good. So I'm gonna buy Gloom Shroom. I'm gonna buy Cattail. And I'm gonna buy Winter Melon. Those are all very, those are probably the three best of the plants. And, uh, yeah, I'll buy Walnut Repair as well. So I'm definitely running... Well, I spent almost all the cash that I had, admittedly. But it was worth it. <laughs> it was so worth it. Anyhow, I'll just lovingly grow these guys to full size. Again, I'm still gonna get money every time I clear a minigame for the first time. And if I tendingly... If I tend to these marigolds every day and buy them every day and sell them when they fully grow, I'll make it just a steady stream of cash. Now, as for the new plants that I'm buying, I may not use them right away. 
But eventually I will play Adventure Mode a second time because there is a unique twist on Adventure 2. And that's when I'll probably start showing off some of the new plants. The new plants are tough to use well, but they can be really, really good. Or at least some of them. Some of them, like the Gold Magnet Room, are absolutely garbage. Ooh, green marigold. That's a fun one. Regular color marigold and... Orange marigold. Cool. Alright, so that's it for Zen Garden. Let's continue with the mini games. We are halfway through all of them. We got ten left and we're going to do five more today. Starting with Portal Combat. This is a fun one. And this one would frequently crash on the iPhone version. So we got a couple of each type of zombie. So here's the gimmick, these portals. If a zombie goes in one portal, they will come out the other one. So if a zombie walks in this portal, they'll immediately go to the end of this lawn. Whereas zombies that go down this one, will have a little bit of a harder time. So basically this zombie will have to walk through two lanes. I'm gonna try to put some powerful plants over there. Yeah, so I'm gonna put a repeater right here. I'm actually not super sure if a zombie can just walk right into the portal. Like, I think if the portal's at the very end of the lawn like this, I actually think that zombies cannot just spawn on top of that. But I could be wrong. Try to get a cactus in every lane, because there are balloon zombies. And as you can see, not only will the zombies move through it, but also the shots that we fire in there will move as well. Interesting. Okay, portal relocating. So the portals will move a couple times throughout the levels. Yeah, so that portal moves over here now. And what's interesting about that is when the, whenever the portal's relocated on the iPhone version, at least in one of the versions, it would just crash the game. There was a time where it worked, but like one of the newer updates caused it to just you could not play the game anymore, which was really stupid. I'm not sure if they ever did fix it either. That might have been one of those things they're just like, oh well, this is just a thing. <laughs> I find the lack of cactuses disturbing. Lot of repeaters. Here we go, there's cactus. Oh, never mind, zombies can absolutely walk through the portals. Maybe not if the portal is that far back. There we go! You found some chocolate! Feed it to Stinky to speed him up for a while. Of course, after we sell all of our stuff. Okay, well that's not fun. Okay, that football zombie just teleported to the end of the lawn. That's not okay. Okay, here is Balloon Zombie. I'm wondering if he was gonna pop out. Okay, that's the last cactus. Alright. Gotta watch out for that. Portal relocating. Alright, cool. We have more than enough cactuses now. So this is a very interesting version of the level. Very unique. I like the whole portal aspect. I like portal as a video game. It's fun. And at this point, like, we've got our lawn defense pretty much all set now. Like, honestly, the, the plants that we have, they're putting everything to shame. And here's the final huge wave!
So nothing that a couple cherry bombs can't fix. Kablooey! Dog on it. Well, now I kind of wish I had a little more cash so I could buy the phonograph, but oh well. You got a trophy, and we've unlocked a new mini game. All right. Okay. This next mini game is infamous. Call them like you see them. Simultaneously, like my favorite mini game and one of my least favorite mini games because the iPhone version had an achievement for this that was extremely difficult to get. So call them like you see them. So this is a fun one. Uh. If you, let's just say if you were wondering what it would be like to survive the zombie apocalypse, this is the level. So the gimmick for this level, if you plant something, it gets planted in every single column. Or in every single lane, so. Yeah, the first couple things that you get will be guaranteed, so like you'll always get these first couple plants in this order. But after that it becomes a little bit random, and... One of the plants you can get on this level is a jalapeno, and based on the rules of this uh, level, if you get a jalapeno and put it down, it's a jalapeno in every lane, which basically means it just kills every zombie on screen. There's a, in the iPhone version, there was an achievement for this level to beat the level without using any jalapenos. It doesn't sound unreasonable, right? Well, the thing is, we're going to be going up against a lot of zombies on this level. And, uh, surviving on this level is actually quite tough if you don't, uh, aren't allowed to use jalapenos. Especially if the conveyor belt is uncooperative and continually gives you jalapenos that you can't use instead of things like melon bolts. So, yeah. This one was kind of luck-based a little bit on whether or not you can, uh, beat it without jalapenos. I'm gonna try to beat it without using jalapenos. And I got a third melon bolt relatively early on, so that's definitely going to help. I'm hoping we can get some, uh, pumpkins here. All right, four point four melon pulse is great. That's really going to help us keep the zombies at bay. Unfortunately, we didn't get any pumpkins, which means our magnet shrooms are not going to survive very well. So our melon pulse are going to have to do all the heavy, heavy lifting. I cannot believe we've not gotten any pumpkins. Like, on this level, unless they changed it for the PC version, uh, pumpkins were some of those common things that you got. We still have one no We still have one freaking magnet shroom left. Wow. So this next huge wave is the- oh my gosh, now we get the- of course, now we get the pumpkins. Would've been helpful to get those earlier, so my magnet shrooms wouldn't have died. So this, yeah, this second huge wave is probably the largest wave of zombies you're going to see in the game. Like, they're just going to slaughter everything. And this is not good, yeah. We've gotten three jalapenos, which normally would be great if you're not trying to get that chili free achievement. Like, we definitely, we've simultaneously gotten very lucky with the melon pulse, but also very unlucky with some of the other stuff. Now, thankfully, the last huge wave is actually quite small. It's mainly just there's like a, 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 a gargantuar in every lane, but there's actually not that many zombies. So chances are you're going to be going through all of your roof cleaners on the second wave if you're not using the jalapenos. We've gotten four jalapenos. Yeah, okay, we've gotten really unlucky with the jalapeno spawns from the perspective of not wanting to use jalapenos, that is. Oh, that's not good. We got one zombie over here that's going to trigger the end of the level. That roof cleaner just barely did it kill them all. Dang, they all blew up. So yeah, our lawn has been laid to waste. Now here comes the final huge wave. I could go for some melon pulse right now. I could also go for squash. Squash is also good.
So we got rid of, thanks to that squash spawn, we got rid of all the Gargantuars. Unfortunately, we're gonna need something to keep these guys at bay. Something that's not a flower pot. Nope. We have to use a jalapeno to finish that. See, see what I mean? That level, that achievement is kind of luck based to get. I'm gonna try it again. We got to show off what a jalapeno was like, but uh, I'm gonna try that again. Getting four jalapenos is very rare. At least from what I remember. So I'm gonna actually make a change. I'm gonna put the potato mines in the very back. So that way if a zombie happens to sneak by, there will be at least a last line of defense. So yeah, you're always going to get potato mine, tall nut, melon pult, magnet shroom, coffee bean, melon pult. There we go. Okay, getting, yes, getting a pumpkin early on is great. Because now our magnet shrooms are going to last a whole lot longer, which is going to mean we can stop people with our tall nuts for longer instead of them using the ladders to get over them. And we got a fur melon really early on too, that's great. Yeah, so the first five things you get in a row are all, there's five or six, so yeah, it's always potato mine, tall nut, melon pult, Magnet Shroom, Coffee Bean, Melon Bolt, and then after that, it's all random. Okay, first Jalapeno really early on. That's not good. Squash, okay. Squash are good. Squash are great for taking on the Gargantuars. Put the Chompers back here. That way, if they, they inevitably are going to get past the Tall Nut Zebra with the Ladder Zombies, or just eventually eating them. Which means the Chompers will be able to help us here. There's our second Jalapeno already. That's not great. I'd like them to be attracting the ladders and not the buckets. Again, this is where I wish you could prioritize the magnetrons of what you want them to attract. Okay, I'm actually going to save those melon pults for the final wave. Or at least for the second wave. Because I'm pretty sure the second wave, if you're not using jalapenos, is always going to remove either all of your roof cleaners or like all but one of your roof cleaners. And if you don't have melon pults for the final wave, well, the, as you saw before, the imps are probably going to get past you. Okay, that's interesting. All right. If I have two sets of melon bolts, then I'm gonna get rid of all the gonna get rid of all the potato mines. I'm gonna protect those guys with some pumpkins. Probably should have protected the guys up front, but I saw that the imps were getting thrown back here, so I used them there. There's our third jalapeno. Okay, I'm really glad to see another squash. But having a having a squash for the final wave is gonna be very nice. Please tell me there are not gonna be more zombies spawning in this bottom lane. Okay, it doesn't look like it. That's that's great. Wow, we got four jalapenos again. Like, I swear that's not common. I, it, it's supposed to be just as likely to get jalapenos as, like, chompers. Now, granted, jalapenos are pretty much always better than chompers, but not in this achievement situation. Yeah, like... <laughs> oh boy, okay. I'm actually... This is actually pretty good, I think. Because that might actually hit some of the zombies that are coming. Oh boy, another chocolate bar. 
What the heck is that? <laughs> Where are all the gargantuars? Why are the why were there no gargantuars that spawned in the final wave? That's so weird. Oh, this is great. This is great. Squash in the final. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna wait for this bucket zombie to get closer. And skadoosh. There we go. Oh, that's fantastic. All right. Well, we did it without using any jalapenos. So that's how you that's how you get the chili free <laughs> achievement in the iPhone version. <laughs> All right. Probably didn't have to do it, but I did. Next we're off to Bob Sled Bonanza. This one is going to be interesting. So, we got regular zombies, we've got zombonies, and we've got bobsled zombies. All right. So, sunflower obviously, we're definitely going to want jalapeno for this one. And if you've bought the imitator, I strongly recommend taking a second jalapeno. We're going to want those. We're definitely going to want squash. Uh, what else? Spikeweed is going to be very good against the Zombonies. Uh, Snoopy's really not going to help. I think I'll take Melon Pult. He'll be our, a good heavy hitter. Lily Pad, obviously, because it is a water level. Uh, what else? What else? Oh, uh, because it's uh, aquatic level, I'll show off how good Cattail is. If you're on a level that has water... Take Cattail. Cattail is, like, stupidly good. Like, literally, you have no idea how good Cattail is going to be. Attacks any lane and just you wait and see. It's it's kind of ridiculous. Uh, what else? I guess Cherry Bomb. Having more insta-kills is always a good thing. And let's do, like, let's do Colonel Pole. I like this. Let's rock. All right, so, ready, set, plant. Yeah, so we already start the level with a huge amount of ice already on the lawn, and that's why I said definitely take jalapeno. Because jalapeno is the only plant that we have that can melt that ice. Not even Torchwood's gonna be able to melt it. And this is also why we wanted Cherry Bomb, Jalapeno, and Squash. And I honestly could have taken Potato Mine as well. Now thankfully, we get a little extra time before the zombies start coming, because, uh... I think the first zombies that are going to be coming are going to be Bobsled Zombies. Shockingly enough. Sure enough, there they are. There we go. There is also an achievement on the uh, in this game, in the iPhone version, to destroy three bobsled zombies with jalapenos in one match. So, this is a perfect level to do that on. We'll have a squash waiting for him at the end. Skadoosh. Okay, this is a little more problematic. So for this one, we're going to use a Cherry Bomb. Okay, now I kind of hope that that, uh, that Jalapeno recharges in time for us to use it on... Okay, that's actually a lot of bobsled zombies coming this way. Okay, I know what I'm going to do here. I'm going to plant the Sunflower there. Which will cause a bit of a delay for them to clump together. Oh shoot, okay. I'm gonna need a spike weed up there. Gonna need to hope that that spike weed can kill him. It's not gonna kill him. Okay, that spike we killed him, though. Okay, I really need to get a cattail. I also need to make sure that this ice melts. Okay, 
Okay, no, save up for a cattail. Cattail will deal with regular zombies effortlessly. Here we go. Lilypad becomes cattail, watch what it does. Look at how fast it fires these spikes. It's like fires them at like twice as fast of a rate as the cactus does. And it can, and it will home in on the zombies. It's crazy good. Unfortunately, Cattail, any plant that you purchase from the store has the slowest recharge possible. Even slower than things like, say, Cherry Bomb. Like, it actually re recharges even more slowly than that. So now I can start planting some melons. Melon bolts. Alright, this is where we melt this ice. Take out the bobsled zombies. And because cattails can attack any lane, we're gonna prioritize getting them first. And yeah, literally, cattails would be the most busted plant in the game if it weren't for the fact that you can only use them on water levels because they're aquatic plants. But like, it's it's crazy how good they are. And now as long as we keep the ice at bay, should be pretty easy. And as you can see, the gimmick for this level is just a get like Zombonies, because there's a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, honestly, picking... I probably should have picked Potato Mine instead of Kernel Bolt. Chrono Bolt's not doing great because I'm spending basically all of my stuff on uh, instant kill plants. And the cat with cattails at my side, like, like no, nobody can touch me. And again, the more cattails you have, the more busted they get. But in the meantime, I'll absolutely plant more melon bolts. A huge wave of zombies is approaching. Oh no, what will I do? Oh my gosh, look at all those flags, too. <laughs> a fourth cattail. Like I said, some of the plants you can buy at the shop are really, really good. And some of them suck. <laughs> Knowing which ones are which is pretty important. The cattails, the spikes will automatically home in on the zombie that's closest to your front door. You'd think they would invest in some slightly stronger tires at this point. But nope. This is one level where uh, having spike rocks, which you can buy at the store, which are the tougher, much, much more durable spike weeds. This is a great level for spike rocks. Like if there was ever a level that spike rocks shine on, it's this one. tell how long the level is based on how many cattails I have. Because again, cattails have the slowest recharge in the game. Although, may did they? 
Did they give Cattails a faster recharge in this version compared to the iPhone version? Because it feels like it's not as slow as it was. It's still very slow, don't get me wrong, but... Here comes the bobsleds. <laughs> they don't call it bobsled bonanza for nothing. But I got cattails, so... <laughs> is it bobsled bonanza or is it cattail catastrophe? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Binky Luge. Let's get more melon bolts out. While we wait for our cattails to recharge. I love the squash. Squash is such a good... I would say squash is a top tier plant for how much I use him. Because he's great at the beginning of the level, he's great in the middle, he's great at the end. Like, he's, he's just great. Ooh, and we're getting a lot of money. Okay, no, Cattail has a solar recharge on Squash. Yeah, never mind. Cattail still definitely has the slowest recharge in the game. You, you're not eating my cat. No, wow, it actually ate one of my cattails. I am surprised. Ha ha ha! Zamboni go boom. Burn! Alright. Bobsled Bonanza. That one was more intense than I remember, but I'm glad I bought, brought all of those instant death plants. <laughs> we unlocked a new minigame. How wonderful. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be a fun one. Next we're on Zombie Nimble Zombie Quick. Interesting. So the main gimmick for this level is that all of the zombies are going to move really quickly. And in the case of the pole vaulting zombies and the dolphin rider zombies, that's going to suck. So, sunflower, lily pad, definitely cattail again. Because again, this is... Uh, this is a pool level. I'll take tall nut. Because he'll be helpful for dealing with... Uh, the... both of these guys. I'll take squash. He's gonna be fast. Snow pea, I think, will be very nice on this level. Due to his ability to slow the zombies down. Probably dip back to their normal speed. Colonel Pult will probably also be quite helpful for his butter-throwing abilities. And... maybe Spikeweed? I like Spikeweed putting them in front of the Tall Nuts. And I could have one more plant. Um, just in case this goes on for a long time, I'll take Melon Pult. If this is gonna be a long level with lots of, uh, waves, then I can- then I want an expensive plant. Also, my plants are faster as well. And the recharges are faster. So actually just this level is basically being played in fast forward mode. So you gotta be fast on your fingers. It's been a while since I played this minigame so I forgot. Let's get a cattail out as soon as possible. One cattail can hold off the zombies for a very long time, because again, it can fire in any lane. Also gonna want to put a tall nut in that lane, just so that way the dolphin rider zombies aren't going to be butts.
That is not where I wanted to put the tall nut. Alright, so this is gonna be a long level. Just judging by the number of flags. There we go, that's where I wanted to put the tall nut. fast the Dolphin Rider zombie is. It's crazy. Tall nuts make the world go around. Let's start putting in some melon bolts. And again, because of melon bolts splash damage, putting them in the middle lanes is going to be more beneficial. Alright, we got our walls. It's fantastic. So that's why I keep putting the melon bolts in the middle lanes instead of in the upper and lower ones. Top and bottom rows. That's not to say that putting melon bolts there is a bad idea, but you get more bang for your buck if you put them in the middle lanes. Because of that sweet, sweet splash damage. If necessary, if I run out of room to plant the cattails, I'll start removing the sunflowers that are on the water. So as long as you go into this knowing what to expect, not too hard of a minigame. Oh man. Now this is one level that the gold magnet room actually might come in handy on. Because of how fast everything's going, having something that will pick up the money for you actually could be nice to have. Still would never go out of my way to buy it though. Yeah, so if 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 my cattail recharges, I'll start removing the flower, the sunflowers on the water. And yeah, as you can see, the zombies literally don't stand a chance. We've got a light, we've got an entire wall of tall nuts in their way. I haven't even used the spike weed or the kernel bolts because I don't have to because these plants are just so overpowered. Here comes the final wave. Oh wow, they didn't even pop up on top of my cattails. And there you go. Not too bad. Oh my gosh, we almost have enough for the phonograph. We might actually get enough at the end of this uh, level. You've unlocked a new mini game. All right. Zombotany 2, and it's time for the last minigame of the day, Whack-A-Zombie. So we did this in story mode. I wonder if this will be any harder. This at least will be a very fast one to end with, which is good, because we dipped one of them twice. Why is this minigame so late? This is like almost in the last five minigames. They're supposed to get progressively harder. But the balance just is not there. Because this is one of the easiest minigames. Again, this was not part of the minigame packs in uh, the iPhone version. Or at least not out of the ones you buy. Oh boy, more chocolate. More chocolate! 
Oh, that's right. The, the nighttime levels of the graves are great places to get chocolate, because chocolate will very frequently drop from the graves. Because when you, whenever you destroy a grave, you'll, it'll always drop something. It's usually just a silver coin. But chocolate can also pop down from there as well. And I believe you can hold a maximum of nine pieces of chocolate. I think they can also potentially drop Zen Garden plants as well. Which I'm kind of surprised we haven't seen a Zen Garden plant drop. Especially in Column like Iseum where I killed so many zombies. Twice. Yeah, let's see if we get another piece of chocolate from this. Nope. And in case you're wondering, graves can only appear so close to the house. So, like, I don't think it'll- it cannot appear in the final- the leftmost column. I don't even think it can appear in the left free or two or three columns. Glad Mr. Gravebuster likes eating graves. I know graves would be a tough thing for me to swallow. <laughs> That's a lot of, uh, a lot of sun. Wow, we're getting a lot of sun. I wish my Grave Buster had a faster recharge. Cool, more chocolate. Ooh, is that a garden plant? Yes, please. Good lord, look at how much sun I have. That's... It is, it is crazy to have this much sun during the Wacka Zombie minigame. Okay. Now, this is, this is harder, this is harder than the story mode Wacka Zombie is. Now they're spawning at a rapid rate. I love getting Zen Garden plants dropped. Alrighty. Oh yes, we have just enough for the phonograph too. Awesome. And we've unlocked a new mini game. All right. So, 15 out of 20 trophies. Actually, now that I think about it, you may have played. Okay, never mind. I think I think in the iPhone version you were able to play like the story mode mini games again. But that Wacka Zombie mini game was definitely tougher than the story mode version, so they are slightly different. Let's just see what the two new plants I got for the Zen Garden are. So because these two plants that I got, I got both of them on a nighttime level, they'll probably both be mushroom plants, although they could be grave busters as well. And as you can see, yeah, I've got five blocks of chocolate. If there's, only such, if there's only a small amount of plants in the garden, and especially if none of them are in the happy state, don't bother giving stinky chocolate. But otherwise, if you like, of course it, the game waited until after I sold all my marigolds to give me chocolate. I mean, I still wouldn't have been able to buy the phonograph, but that's annoying. Because if you've got a huge amount of plants that you can put in the happy state, and you've got chocolate for stinky, like, oops, kiss your money problems goodbye. You just have to be patient. Because again, you do need to wait in-game time for Stinky, for them to generate enough coins for Stinky to collect them and to get a huge amount. So, it might take you several real-life days, but you don't even have to play the game, really. Like, just every few hours, check in, make sure Stinky's awake, and if he's not, give him another piece of chocolate. And you'll be set. Okay, we got a Hypno Shroom. And a Grave Buster. Okay, we're lucky. The Grave Buster is actually awake, so we'll be able to grow him to full size. Whereas the Hypno Shroom and the Puff Shroom, nope. They're still a snoozing away. Yes, I would love to buy the phonograph. That is going to be a worthwhile investment. All right. 
That's it for this episode of Plants vs. Zombies. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. We'll be finishing up the last five mini games in minigame mode. And then after that, we'll be going on to puzzle mode, which is going to be very different. The puzzle mode is uh, pretty different from what we've seen thus far. Look forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.